Good morning. It's the weekend and I thought I would finally vlog. It's been a while. I always feel like it hasn't been that long and then I start getting comments like, you never vlog anymore. And then I'm like, oh yeah, it has been, has been a minute. Time is flying. Time is just absolutely flying. Speaking of flying, I've got little Miss Effie down here. Flying, absolutely zooming because she wants to go to the park. I'm gonna take her to the park where she can go off lead and I brought her ball so we'll see how that goes. Hopefully there are some other puppies there too because um, it's good for her to socialize. But first I'm on the hunt for a cup of tea or coffee or something and maybe a little pastry. Made it to the cafe. She's not sure what to think. <laughs> good girl! <laughs> That's so good! <laughs> I know, I know. Oh, you're covered in mud. She is really not gonna love that. Oh, she's trying to get out. Okay. Like, this is gonna feel nice. So now I'm gonna go to yoga in the park. My yoga instructor from the studio near me has been teaching classes in the park that I've been going to and it's really nice. So I'm gonna hop on my bike, gonna get my yoga mat on. I feel like I really need this class. This is Southwark Park and we always say, let's meet by the bandstand. This is called the bandstand. And last week, um, after yoga, there was an actual band playing in here. I'll try to see if I have some clips from my phone. <laughs> yoga was amazing, as predicted. Um, I, I honestly think this is the first class that I've been to where I just really was present and God, it just felt good, it felt so good. I just had some lunch, I made some chicken and I just put it in one of these little corn wraps. They're very flimsy, but it's kind of nice. I'm trying to eat a little healthier, so it was good. I added a little bit of baby leaf and I also put in some tzatziki, which I never know how to say. But yeah, it was a beautiful little rap. This is what I'm listening to right now. Um, this is one of my favorite songs ever. It's very chill, very nice. So I know people always ask what I'm listening to. And I'm gonna water some plants. It's actually really hot in London today. We're having a little heat wave before autumn begins. But I also just wanted to show you this gorgeous new plant from my friend Freya. And she is a potter. And I'll link her pottery down below, but um, she made me this beautiful piece of art for my birthday. And she gave me the plant as well, so I'm just trying to make sure it's got enough water. These plants out here are dying. First of all, they need to be watered, and second of all, they hate the wind. So I put my gloves on. I just need to basically get rid of these bits here, so let's see if I can do it, I don't know. Definitely could not do that. I think I need to get some scissors because basically those are really spiky, like cactusy arms. So I'm just gonna snip them off. It feels so nice to be in the sun and gardening and cleaning my flat. That's what I live for, honestly. It's what I live for. <laughs> Here is the aftermath. Now I just need to figure out how to dispose of this without stabbing and cutting all my arms. But yeah, those are dead. I need to actually move these. It's way too sunny here, so I'm gonna move them into the corner. But um, I'm gonna need assistance for that, I think. They're too heavy. Just washed all my sheets, and I washed my actual duvet as well. So tonight is gonna be a beautiful, crisp sleep. <laughs> Thank you. 
I have been waiting for the perfect moment to eat this mango and it's right now, baby. Look at that juice. I just did this little trick and I'm gonna try to cut, do the thing. Oh yes, look at those cubes. Oh my gosh, it's just falling out. Mmm. The weekend is well and truly over. I am actually in the middle of <sighs> decluttering, surprise. <laughs> Every single vlog I'm like I am trying to declutter, but I basically have all this camera equipment and microphones and stuff that I just don't use anymore like my Canon 5d. I just I don't use it I only really use my vlog camera now. This is my old vlog camera, so I don't really need to have that So yeah, and just like some lenses, so I'm going through that and I'm gonna try to pop those on eBay or something um, so Exciting, but more excitingly I made an order at this company called Phil Phil and Basically what it is is what it is is reusable bottles For home cleaning products like hand soap Laundry detergent that sort of thing and I actually saw this brand in a little shop um in East London and I really loved it so much and I wanted to get my own. I didn't have time to actually go to the shop but you can order it online and from now on now that I have my bottles I can just get it on my bike and go over there and get the stuff so let's open this up and basically I was messaging them on Instagram and I said they said like we were just talking or whatever and I was like no I'm gonna buy it myself I'm really a fan and they threw in this little sweater I, I have a feeling they knew I had a feeling they knew it was me who was making that order, so that's really nice of them. Thank you. Let's take a look at this. This is the hand soap, and it's in the scent Fig Leaf, and it seriously smells like, it smells like a Diptyque product. It smells so good and so luxe, and that's the pump. So then you just take this bottle and go refill it. I love it. Here is my Neroli fabric conditioner. It was packed by Pete in Northamptonshire. Thanks, Pete. <laughs> and last but certainly not least is my laundry powder. And this has 25 washes in it. So that's pretty cool. And these glass bottles are just super sturdy, and really nice. I love them, I'm so excited about this. Something the trainer advised I do is get one of these little, I don't even know what you'd call it, like a floofy thing, and give Effie her dinner in it. Um, she has basically found the kibbles, removed them, and now eating them one by one. <laughs> Makes me laugh. So, I saw Lily Pebbles mention the pink stuff, and I'm in my pink bathroom, and I have like, there's like, you know, the water in London is so hard that you just get so much like lime scale and like rust. So annoying, so. This morning, I thought I would just try this pink stuff because I'm sick of looking at this and nothing else really works. So let's see if this is effective. Rub it on, let it sit, and then rub it off, apparently. So let's see. Okay, so I'm rinsing it. And you know what? I think it actually helped. That's pretty cool. So I'm back to see Johnny, my acupuncturist, and I'm very excited. So we'll see what points we're working on today. All right guys, disclosure, there will be a needle going in. So if you don't like needles, fast forward. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. I'm actually nervous for this point because I've never had a, one in my finger before. All right, so a bit of water first. Okay. Can we talk about this point or we no? Can. Yeah, we can. This is the entry point on the large intestine channel. Okay. So it represents everything that the large intestine does for us. Physically, mentally, and emotionally. emotionally. What does the large intestine do for us? To send me like this. Okay. Obviously clears a lot of stuff out for us. Mm -hmm. Coming up with the heat. Tell me when. No. Good. And again. But ultimately what it does is it ensures that we have sort of like the last nutrients 
uh, in our body, but it gets kind of absorbed right into, into our body again as mm -hmm. such. So it does that mentally too. So it makes sure it's, it kind of we keep we keep the gems in life. Yes, keep the good stuff in. Not Keeps the, the good stuff in, yeah. I love this stuff. This is the easy bit. Moxa. Moxa. That's just Ooh, on the skin. Lordy. Okay. It's a little bit sharper than normal as it goes yes, through. Yes, it is. It's oh, through. That is insane. So what we're looking for is that little deep, dull ache. Yeah. Oh, got it. Yep. Turning out see. Okay. Well done. Thank you. That was probably the most painful one I've ever had, but it wasn't that bad. <laughs> but you got the ache, yes? <laughs> Definitely got the ache. Good. I just went into Daunt Books, which is the most beautiful bookstore. I picked up a couple of things, which I'll show you when I get home. So, book-wise, I got The Mothers by Britt Bennett. This is actually for a friend. And I bought myself this book, which I hadn't heard of, but it's long-listed for the 2020 Booker Prize. And it's also signed by the author on like a little post thing. So I was totally sold in the store. It looked like it's gonna be a beautiful book. So I've got that. My bookshelves, baby. Haven't been dusted in about 15 years. <laughs> I mean, I've only lived in this flat for like two years, but still. Um, I'm taking all the books off. They're all over on my table. Well, some of them. And I'm gonna reorganize this bookshelf if it's the last thing I do. Oh my gosh, look at that. Wow. It is looking a little more put together. So the way I've done it is like my special books and art books. And I put this little dried flower vase up there. And then I have my sort of cookbooks and wellness books yoga books and mind books, like brain books. And then some beauty books here. And then a couple of random design books. Here I have some more beauty and some just other things I find interesting. Some spiritual books like, you know, some tarot and some crystal stuff. Travel, poetry, women. And then these are all my novels. So this is kind of mixed up between like things I've read and things I haven't read, but I know which ones I read, have read and haven't read, so that's what I'm doing. And then this bottom one is empty now, but I need to get a little um, panel thing to cover up this wire, so Sylvester's gonna come over and do that for me. But I think it's looking pretty good, you know? Hello, missus. Hello, beautiful missus. Okay, that is it for the bookshelf today, I think. I've had enough, but I did manage to free up a whole other thing, and I know I didn't do it before, but it, it looks a lot better. Um, it's very cute, I think. I'm gonna end the vlog here. It's probably the last sunny day in the UK. So I'm just trying to bask and get my last little bit of inspiration. Um, but I'm thinking about doing, I don't wanna say I'm gonna do Vlogtober, but I'm gonna try to do a few extra vlogs in October. So stay tuned for that. I'll see you very soon. Bye.